Hi all, Steph here again. And uh, I wanna go back in the vault, as it were, to um, pull a teaching out that I actually learned in my previous career in uh, live TV, broadcast news. And when we were coming up on a deadline or what was known as crashing to air, that phrase alone tells you pretty much everything, uh, we'd often jokingly say, so is it too early to panic? And there'd be various answers. We had it to the point where we had triaged it. So yes, it's way too early to panic. Or maybe there'd be a standby to panic. And there'd be two types of standbys. There might be a, a uh, loose standby. Well, it's coming, so you might want to dust off your panic chops. Or a hard standby, yeah, very soon we'll need to panic. Then there was the option of standby to panic and panic. Now, yeah, that was TV. And yeah, it's uh, getting a piece on the air, which ultimately isn't that crucial. And yet, is it too early to panic? That's a great question that I use to this day with myself and my clients. And invariably, the piece I come back to is, hmm, it's too early to panic. Plenty of time to panic. We don't need to panic yet, or now, or this second. Just, am I panicking? Stop. Stop. Too early to panic, isn't it? How do you deal with panic in your life? Is it panic all the time, or is there a sense of, eh, I'll get to it? Those are the two extremes. Can you dance with panic? Can you parse it in those various stages? Share, teach me, let me know what your relationship is to it. I am at rapidbodymindclarity.com. Let's connect. Cheers.